real smooth. Austin, <laughs> 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 what did this group learn about itself going through this year, knowing the expectations outside maybe were the highest they've ever been for this group for the first time? What does the team learn about itself when the expectations outside the room are as high as they are inside the room? Yeah, it's, you know, it's one of those things that you know, we talk about not listening to the noise and not getting wrapped up in it, but um, you do feel it. You do feel the, um, you know, the expectation, it's, it's support as well, but you do feel, um, you know, all the stuff that goes along with it. I think we've proved as a group that we're capable of handling it. Um, you know, what a, what a great regular season. Um, you know, it's still, still tough to swallow, um, you know, losing out game seven, but um, still a, a great year for our team. Um, Accomplishing first of the organization, uh, the President's yeah. Cup, or the President's Trophy is awesome, and um, you know I think we just learned. We learned we're a capable team. We're capable of um, considering ourselves contenders and um, playing up to that level. Do you think the loss to Winnipeg series last Winnipeg was more how they played? Do you feel like what, like how they adjusted to you, or is it more things you guys? I think I think it's both. Um, you know, that, that's the crazy thing about sports, right? And, um, you know, some, sometimes you can do all that you, you seemingly can, and any other team just plays better. But um, you know, it was tough. Um, it was a tale of um, tons of different ways that the games went, and um, you know, we got a couple of huge wins in their barn, but they were able to come in here and do the same thing. Are you, will you watch the finals and all that, or do you get away from the game? No, I'm, I'm sure it'll be. I'm sure it'll be on. I won't be. Uh, I mean, sitting down and having it all scheduled out. But um, you know, if it's on, I'm 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 a fan of the game, and um, you know, it's it's an exciting time of year. Um, unfortunately, we're not playing in it, but at the same time, uh, it is hockey. Austin, you had such an incredible individual series in the first round. Your whole line put up a bunch of numbers. I think it was just one combined point though against Winnipeg. What happened there from a line perspective? Every series is different. Um, you know, we, we we got on a, a little bit of a roll, whether whether it's matchups or you know, sometimes it could just be bounces of the way things go. Um, you know, it wasn't definitely for any lack of effort or um, you know, it's not like we played any differently. Um, we had chances, we had looks. Um, we didn't get too many to go for us, but I mean. It is what it is. It's not. It's not for lack of effort or you know, you know, change in what we're doing. Two year and then this year have a career year. How has that ride gone for you? Uh, it, it's been awesome. I mean, I have. I've said it before. I'm, you know, so grateful to to be here and be a part of this organization. And um, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to continue to get better every year. Um, you know, any work you put in the summer, um, you know practices games throughout the entire regular season you're always you're always learning um, you're always getting better and you know I think you know I'm starting to see now I think maybe the Golden, you've really cemented your role with this team now, no, no matter where you can be, whether it's last year's playoffs, this year's playoffs. Just what does it feel just personally that you know that you have cemented your role here? I mean, it feels good, obviously. It's um, something that I've been just kind of working towards uh, over the past few seasons and um, just really feel that I can make an impact on it. Every game that I go out there and play and uh, had a lot of responsibility this year, so I'm just going to be looking to build on that. After so much consistency during the regular season, the best this franchise has seen, what, what change would alter that path in the playoffs? I mean, um, obviously we're all, all disappointed the, the way that it ended up and um, had higher expect expectations on ourselves, but um, I think there's uh, still some positives to look at. Obviously winning the President's Trophy, which was um, something that we worked for all year, and um, I think we can just continue to build, and um, we all believe that we can win here, and we got the guys to do it. So. Part of this is you were a prospect for, but now that you've seen this franchise evolve to the point that not winning a championship truly is a failure. I mean, that's got a, there's some solace in that, I guess, right? That you feel like you actually are a contender after all these years. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, kind of the culture that we've created here that um, we just want to win and we expect to win. And um, we came up uh, short this year and we're all bummed and uh, know what we have to do to get better and um, just to push to take it to that next step. Last year, a lot of the guys spoke about the foundation, the base. You liked it. You knew a lot of it was signed long term, and then this team got even better in the regular season. Is it a similar mindset going into the next year? Yeah, I'd say so. Um, obviously, we got 
uh, the majority of us coming back and we're going to be around hopefully for a couple years and um, I, it's just exciting to be on, in this group right now and um, just have the have the personnel that we have and like I said before we, we really believe that we can win and um, I think everyone's just motivated to, to do exactly that. A lot was said about this, the number one team in the league versus the number two team in the league between you and the Jets. Is that how simple it was or is it something that you as a group felt you could have done more to, to beat such a good team? I mean, you, you kind of always feel when you come up short, you always feel that um, there might have been something that you could have done to, to make it uh, go your way and uh, it just didn't happen for us and uh, it was a great series, it was, they're a great hockey team. And, um, it was a lot of fun battling against them. That was a that was a fun series, and, um, one that we'll probably look back back to for a while. And uh, it just it just sucks. It just sucks. That's all I could say. Yeah. If, if you could replay that series, something you would change, or you know, I know every game was very different yeah, than the last. I would have probably won Game Seven <laughs> if I could. But, uh, uh, I mean, it's. Uh, it's pretty early still, and it's pretty raw feeling, and um, it's it's easy to kind of look in the rearview mirror and say I could have done this or could have done that, and it, it just didn't go our way, and um, it's disappointing. Have you guys watched it as a team, Game Seven as a team, Ben? Have I watched it as a team? Did you watch Game Seven? Uh, Going through the you know film of it. No. No. None of that. No. Have you watched it personally? No. Um, <laughs> plan to? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> With all the talk about experience and what you guys went through last year, do you feel like you guys had to, to learn kind of what it was like to be at the top of the mountain and be the number one? Yeah, I mean, we, we're constantly learning and just, I mean, you go through new experiences and it, um, you got to think that just kind of builds your character and <clears throat> just makes you a, a better pro and uh, just going through everything, if it, whether it's positive or negative. And, um, this year was disappointing obviously we had a really good regular season president's trophy and um, <coughs> we wanted to be back in that cup final playing for the trophy and it just didn't go our way and, um, but hopefully we can learn from it and, and get better and, and grow.